everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Pathfinder. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. This is RP Stammer Bard Build, episode 240. Uh, we're just kind of chilling. Uh, schedule's a little mixed up. This is on a Friday night rather than a Thursday night. I, I scratched up my arm. I don't know how. I felt it. Like, I pulled my... My jacket sleeve down and I guess there must have been something inside the the sleeve that just kind of like scraped down my arm and now I have these two wild scratches down my arm anyways um we are on I don't actually know what the name of uh this ship is I assume it's the Norse uh ship made of uh fingernails um, uh, but we are, we are in the midst of the, I say in the midst, we, we have started the Midnight Isles, um, DLC, just kind of messing around with, and we can, I think we can leave whenever we want, uh, yeah, we can go back to port, right, so, that's interesting, but I think we, we are gonna mess around with this a little bit more, so we're gonna rest up, because I don't know if there is a, ooh, ooh, hold up, before we do that. Um, so demon layer, so again, thank you, Chris Lighthawk, for continuously pointing out little, little tricks or little, uh, interactions in this game, um, and suggesting things and stuff like that. So, uh, this is demon slayer soup is what we have on currently, right? If we are to rest, this has a 22 hour, um, uh, buff on, on it, right? If we were to rest and use demon slayer soup again... It just override and refresh the buff. Um, so what we can do instead is actually um, uh, pick a different a different soup, a different soup, a different meal. Doesn't have to be soup. Plus five movement speed, fast healing, and regeneration. Or maximum, uh, yeah, regeneration is the fast healing and then uh, maximum HP. That'd be interesting. Uh, concentration checks and DC of saving throws. Could be cool. DC of saving throws. I think the conflagrant taco is like the big, big, big one that I've heard. Because it's plus four ability scores. Which is a cooking bonus, so it stacks with um, things like you know bears, might, and shit like that. So, but we need we need phoenix feathers. Oh, you know what? Hold up, let's go check and see. I, I know the guy. The uh... who is it? My God, we were walking really slowly. <laughs> the uh, the ah, uh, my brain. The um. The chaplain, I think? Is that who it is? Yeah, he sells a bunch of stuff. Maybe maybe he actually sells some of the things that we are after. Um, show me your potions and scrolls. Sure. Bulk selling, easy peasy. Uh, we don't have to worry about anything else specifically at the moment. Make sure we know all of these recipes. Pretty sure we already did this, so I think we're okay. Wow, they have maximum amounts of all of this shit. That's really good to know. They have like infinite amounts of all of the, wow. Crazy. Okay, what were we looking for? We were looking for... Oh, they have the Maximum Scroll Scribers and Alchemist Kits as well. Cool. We were looking for Phoenix Feathers. Uh, we can get 99 of these very easily. Point of fact... How difficult is it to just buy... Ninety-nine of all of this stuff. 
That is 89,000, but you know what? Fuck it. That seems... That seems like a worth... Probably not a worthwhile purchase. We probably just... I mean, of all the things, we probably just spent like... I don't know, 50,000 gold that we didn't need to spend. But... We're going for ease of use here, rather than... Than anything else. Uh, we're gonna go rest. And we're gonna use... Uh, I guess that plus four, because that plus four is probably the best thing that we have access to. Ooh, we can't do the mind cleansing tea because we don't have access crystals. Interesting. Plus three bonus to all saving throws and a plus three cooking bonus to attack and damage rolls only against anomalies. Interesting. Lucky Hand Sandwich is plus five to all skill checks. And whenever you have to pass a skill check, you roll the dice twice. Yo, that's pretty nice. This is definitely not bad at all. Power Guts. Immunity to poison and disease. Restores all HP. Removes effect. Yeah, that's kind of whatever. Spicy pastry, we've seen that. But I do kind of think the Demon Slayer soup, which is plus three to attack, damage rolls, and skill checks, and saving throws, and it is not specific. It, right, it says Demon Slayer soup, but it doesn't say anything about just for demons. It's plus three cooking bonus to attack, damage, skills, and saving throws. So I think it... And maybe, like, the Conflagrant Taco are kind of, like, the best combos. Unless you need, like, skill check stuff. Then Lucky Hand Sandwich, I'm sure, is very, very good. Uh, we're gonna go with the Conflagrant Taco, though. Because that seems dope. And we have a shit ton of uh, stuff for it. And we, we have a guaranteed success chance, so... Do I want to start looking at... Oh, no. I want to start looking at, um... Potions to craft? Ooh, no, not potions. Get out of here. Start looking at um, scrolls to craft, perhaps. What we got? Oh shit, we can we can craft high high level fucking scrolls with like complete like perfect epicy here. Phantasmal killer disintegrates. Sprucing communal, yo. That seems like it could be useful. What prevents us from? Uh, oh, we could do we could do better ones, but um, in order to do those, we just need a higher scroll scribers kit. That's cool. Now these things are, I don't want to just randomly do these. These things are restricted comparatively to like the cooking. Oops, we only have so many of those, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go crazy on that. Okay. So now we should have, in theory, both a Demon Slayer and Conflagrant Taco, which is cool. Very cool. Um, so we're gonna take that and we're gonna jump into the next... I'm assuming it keeps your progress. I'm assuming if you go back to port, it doesn't immediately skip, like, you know, oh, well, you went back, so now you're back to the beginning. But if it did, we'll see. Hacha! Okay. Continue. In flagrant taco.
Time. The volume. Um, I apparently did. I uh, did not update since we last hit a level. Really? Because I feel like we totally did. Hmm. Maybe I did like some, uh... <laughs> yeah, because we were using Holy Sword, sword, weren't we? I'm like positive we were. I might have like re like reset, not not realizing it. It's entirely possible. We've apparently got multiple things. Oh, is this prior to us picking out less weapon? No, it's not. Huh. Strange. Wrath of the Drunken? I don't know about Drunken, but we are definitely drinking beer tonight, so I figured I'd put the 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 command in just so that people were aware, right? You know, because some people aren't actually, you know, some people aren't really kosher with watching drunk streams or or participating in that type of thing, so I try to give people a heads up, you know? Just in case. Uh, let's go with another Dispel Greater Magic. Okay, why not? Let's go with a... Random Umbral... No, let's go with a fucking random... Resurrection. I really don't understand bestro Bestow Grace of the Champion. It feels... It seems like it's incredibly weak to me. Immunity to diseases and fear. Whatever at this point. Right? Like... Charisma bonus to all its saving throws. Eh? And the target has to be lawful good? Eh? Like... What? <laughs> None of this stuff's that good. I don't understand. Whatever. We move on with our lives. Uh, um. I think. Oof. Oof. Sound really picky. What? Get out of here. I'm not picky. I'm the least picky of the the ever. I don't know. Sure, we'll take a greater animal aspect. That seems fun. We're not going to get any of this shit for, like, right now, which is okay, because I don't think we need it, but... Continue voyage! Alright, so we've done this one, so we go to the next place, right? Oh, yeah. We're going to do some Midnight Isling. That's actually interesting that they do point that out about the whole raising your companion's intelligence. Um, okay. Uh, what is this? Aquatic Elemental Undertow. This island is affected by a magical undertow flowing beneath you. You can find elemental pier pillars on it. Creatures within 30 foot range of a pillar gain fire resistance 5. Periodically, whirlpools within a radius of 10 feet appear in random spots on the island, dealing 1d6 bludgeoning damage and 1d6 cold damage to all creatures caught in them. Okay, that's kind of neat. Alright, am I... I guess there's not, like, a reason... Help where I can. Get on your fucking horse. I will prove my worth. I sense something. Uh huh. I'm sure you do. 
Okay. We're gonna do this. Uh, I think. We're going to... We're gonna try with the concept Here we go again. that we are going to put on all of our buffs um, that are minutes or up. Right? And we're gonna... We're, so we're gonna go from there. Right? All of our buffs that are minutes or up go from there. Uh, let's start with... Her doing our perfect. Okay, she has heroic invocation, so we do not need to use greater heroism, right? And this is 10 minutes per level, so this thing's gonna last for fucking a long ass time. Mind blank communal. Long ass time. Oh yeah. Uh, and she's gonna foresight herself. Because she's pretty. She's got such good stuff now. Okay, so now we know that that's all done. You know what? With that being the case, right? Like, with with us having heroic uh, invocation at this point and Nenio having animal growth, it's just we don't really have much that we are doing on our our main character for this level, truth be told. I, I guess, like, they're a dispel, gr mag greater magic dispel person at this point. <laughs> Whatever. It'd be what it'd be. No um, reason to pause. Search for greater angelic your aspect. Heart, not your eyes. We don't want to shape change. Winds of Vengeance is cool. Hmm. I mean, we can keep casting, right? When we shape change. Is there a reason why we wouldn't start shape changing? Is there a reason? Well, I guess if we had a very particular build, we wouldn't want to shape change every time with, with him. But we don't have a very particular build. Then start hmm? throwing off oh. that. Yes. What? The struggles never cease. Yes. We'll win this. <laughs> Alright, that's too much. <laughs> too much stuff going on. That's, that's too confusing. I had to do this, like, one at a time. Ah! Incorrect. I really want greater enduring spells on all of my buffers. I want it on everyone, truth be told, but I really want it on all of my buff casters. Hey, yeah, it would really make things way, way better. Um, your image. Okay. We will win this war. Goes on him. 
Let me help. Does this own this boss weapon only work on melee weapons? Weapon strike true. Weapon in your primary head is treated as a magic weapon. Cool, yeah, fine, whatever. We care about confirming criticals. So less weapon works on ranged weapons, which means we can put this on originally as well. In theory. My will in is theory. Now, a bunch of his other stuff is um, round based, and we're not interested in putting up all the round based stuff, obviously. Crusader's Edge. Okay. That should stack with the boss weapon. Okay, here we go. Are we ready to move? Ah! On? The goddess protects us. Ona Adayana. Ona Adayana. Ona Adayana. You are my favorite aid. Okay. We're gonna do Ice Body. Ba! Air! Ritzi! Do Trucian Commune. We're gonna put legendary proportions on Ivan. We're gonna put up this. 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 Allow me. Longstarter, Chameleon, Juice Pudding on Ivo, on Biz, nope, 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 Bismuth, on Ooh, Calypso, and on Odysseus. Trust in yourself. Sweet baby Jesus, there's so many things that we have. I really wish there was some easy, like, create your own preset buff cycle <laughs> for this game. That's, that's like the only thing that I'm like, eh, about these days with this game is, is that it takes me five minutes to buff through everything. Okay, cool. Let's check those stats. My goodness. We got some crazy... Ow. Stop doing that. That hurts. Oh. Uh, so. Plus two, plus two, plus four, plus two. Our lowest... 
with a minus two from enlarge is actually our lowest is eight from the intelligence. Uh, we have a plus eight. Wow. Okay, cool. That's pretty neat. That's a lot of layered effects going on here. My god. Scrolling through that is a shit ton of stuff. Um, alright. I feel pretty strong. Ooh, ooh. Um, one of the things that we were going to check was, um, and this was pointed out to us, that uh, checking something like the Bracers of Armor for example, plus five, right? While wearing your barding is not necessarily going to work. So, we have Ivu, who has uh, AC 50 right now. We put that on, nothing happens. Um, if we take off the chain shirt of barding plus three, it goes up to 51. So, cool. Okay. That is good to know. And why is that? So, the reason why is because our barding only allows us a maximum of four from our dexterity. And we have a plus seven from our dexterity. Right? But it is also still a plus three barding, so that on top of it, it basically kind of just balances out. So, uh, Ivu gains one point with that. Oh, we need to throw... Oh, he already has plus 5. Um, so he's got the plus 5, so he's sitting at 51. Which should be better than Mage Armor at this point. If we throw... Up to 50. And then we have 48. I feel like if any... Oh, no. 53. Yeah, so that's a five-point difference. Odysseus is definitely the one that, that changes drastically there. Um, uh, so, yeah. We will leave Odysseus with the plus five armor. Uh, go from there. That is weaker... And then Bismuth cannot cannot contain cells. Fifty one. Eleven dexterity bonus. Four from Shield of Faith. Five from the Bracers of Armor. Natural armor plus two and plus three. And plus twelve from companion level bonus. And enhancement plus five and dodge. <laughs> like there's so much going on there. Take it up to 53. But even at 53, we're still gonna get we're still gonna get God. That's okay though. 53 seems like a pretty decent um pretty decent gap. So we are going are to um I want Here we go. On, Together, can we not just charge this guy? I refuse to accept their just charge that guy. Nice. Can we just toss a fireball and hit those guys? We can. Nice. That took out the two in the back. Didn't get, didn't get the front one. That's okay, though. We can magic missile that guy. Oh, we can't, right? <laughs> there is a trapola in the way that we do not want to spring. Go over here. I will resist. Show it. Wow. Their sight. Feels real fucking fast. Is there a reason Socio's invisible? Oh, you know what? Invisibility is something that I really wanted to look at, too. I don't know that we care that much right now. 
Desna, please allow me to keep my lovely, irresistibly beautiful wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Desna's gonna let you keep your wings. I finished here. Is there more? All right. Well, that went well to start with. Got doors. Door here. And door here. I guess let's head up to this door. Wait, is this not actually a door? Doesn't actually look like a door. Maybe that's a door that we come back out of? I can handle it. A bright future. Uh, did I mess up again? Will prove my worth. No time for debate. Prepare yourself! I don't understand what that audio hitch is. By the way, I've been I've been trying to figure no the fuck out what that audio hitch is, and I have been unable to do so. Um, it's really frustrating oh. to me. Spells for tonight. Ha! Yeah. Great team. All right. Um, I think these things are all immune to death. Actually, <laughs> so you know, sometimes, sometimes it do be that way. Excuse me? Bards, eh? Charge! How do you like that? I will bring down the divine wrath! Yeah, we doing we doing a lot of damage. Go around very carefully. I was gonna say, someone else is here, apparently. <laughs>
Never cease. No one else move. I'm trusting you. I'm glad I was useful just, to you. Just keeping that, keeping that in the pocket. I will follow my dream. Oh, see, see. I finished here. Is there more? Fucking traps all over the damn place. Salute. Let's see what we can do. Autumn Golem? What the fuck? Autumn Golem? That's the first time we've seen anything like that. That's interesting. Eternal Rose, I call upon you. Damn. Let's toss out a control fireball. to you, fam. I will resist. We're not even going to get to see it move, are we? Hi. say Be gone fiend Ooh. I don't want that actually Hum hum. Plates. Ooh. Oh, it's a keen scimitar. I was like, oh shit. This is gonna be 
sexy. And it was go. like, eh, it's, it's, it's all right. <laughs> I mean, it'll sell fine, I suppose. Oh, fiendish tick swarm. Okay, what is this? What is this sh shit immune to? That's 120 HP, and it is damage reduction 10. Exceptions good. It is immune to mind affecting, compulsion, charm, critical hits, precision damage, spells with the target, physical damage from weapons. Okay. Gotcha. So, you can do nothing, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, you can do... Don't think no anything either. Risk. Hey. Huh? Was the three you did? Divine. Gotcha. You can't do anything. You can do that. And we can say, go fuck yourself. Okay. Hiya! Okay. Desna, guide my hand. Nice. Go figure out whatever the fuck that was. I see. Inspire some heroics. Get out of here with that noise. Literal noise. These guys are very squishy. <laughs> oh, I'm not used to this. I'm used to things being so much stronger than they are here. Like, my shit's not getting recognized. Now, how... Okay, we still have ten minutes on our foxes coming. That's good. Kind of guesstimate, like, how fucking long shit's lasting based off of that type of shit. Eight minutes on our blur. I'm trying to be really careful to consistently pause in between everything that is happening. Eusen, the treasure plunderer. Okay, bro.
Wait. Oh, because that that requires a full. Gotcha. All good. She's way the fuck back here. I just wish your I I wish your summons stayed with you, so to speak. Into the fray. I'm done with you. Make your peace. If no, no. Treasure hunting necromancer. Ooh, there's a bunch of guys down here. Oh, I bet he summoned them. Well, that's less scary. That's less scary. Just fucking zap him. That worked. Oh, what? Oh, shit. Another necromancer. Who'd have thought? Oh, okay. Sounds good. Okay. In on Azwin the Treasure Blunderer, we get uh, an Iron Prayer. Plus one cold iron. Whenever this plus one cold iron longsword is used to attack a demon, it gains a plus two enhancement bonus to the attack roll and deals an extra 1d10 slashing damage on hit. That actually isn't that bad, truth be told. Right? Like, we're, we look at it and we're like, oh, enhancement plus one. The, plus, the enhancement doesn't fucking matter because we can give it a plus five with the greater magic weapon. I think uh, technically we can't give it plus five yet. I think we can give it a plus four. Maybe we can give it a plus five. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but we can give it a better enhancement. What's important is what the ability is. And a pl most of the things we fight are demons. I say most of. A lot of the things we fight are demons. So if we're fighting a demon, we get a plus two on the attack roll. That's pretty solid. And an additional 1d10 slashing damage. That's not bad. That's pretty... That's actually a solid weapon. I think we have some better weapons, but that's actually a solid weapon. Like, that would do... Okay, Boots of Elven Kind. Plus five competence bonus on mobility checks. That's actually potentially good. Do we have... What boots do we have on? We have boots of the Stampede. Ooh... We don't really have athletics on her, though, don't we? Do we? We have plus 16 because of the strength. Adds their rank in... Rank, not, not bonus. We don't have any ranks. So that is a plus zero. So that's uh, worthless to us. So in point of fact, we might actually want to... Just oldest. Throw these on her. Oh, she has a plus five mobility there. Never mind. Um, if that is the case, then... Pipe. We will just put the Boots of Stampede back on for a future where we do actually have ranks in athletics. Because maybe we do that eventually. It was a nice idea. Otherwise... Okay. Uh, we're gonna... Run around the room real quick. <laughs> With a Rushalei. And to see if there's any shit here. Not seem to be. I can handle it. Huh. And that is it, actually. And we made it with 
A little bit of time to spare, yeah, like eight minutes to spare. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. I feel like that's a pretty good example of what we're dealing with if we run into one of these places and we full buff. Uh, let's check our map. Feels like I missed something, I'm not gonna lie. It does feel like this door back here was a miss. So maybe we actually go check that real quick. That being said, uh, I think for now that is going to be the end of this video. Maybe we'll run back and check that door um, or areas around that door at the start of the next video. Um, anyways, if you're watching on Twitch, stick around. We're going to keep playing. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.